Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustak, and today we are here with another main association of Math League's problem from Meet 3, December 2010, round 4, complex numbers, problem 3. If the square root of negative 16 minus 30i equals a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, find the value of a plus b squared. Okay. So, how do we find the square root of a complex number? That is the question here. The way we do this is that we have this equation, which they gave us, and then we square both sides. So, on the left side, we get negative 16 minus 3i equals, and a plus bi squared is a squared, and then bi squared is minus b squared, and then you take 2 times the product, so it's plus 2abi. So if you want to check that using FOIL, and then square that yourself, you can. Okay. And then once we have this, we have a real part, negative 16 on this side, and on this side it's a squared minus b squared, and we set those equal to each other. So the real parts are equal, and the imaginary parts are equal. So on this side we have negative 30i, and on this side we have 2abi, so that means 2ab equals negative 30. So you have to set the different parts equal to each other to get two equations. Okay? And then you divide both sides of the equation by 2. I mean, the second equation. And that gives you AB equals negative 15. I just did that to simplify things. And then on this side, you have A squared minus B squared is negative equals negative 16. And then I just kind of manipulated it a little. So it's A squared plus 16 equals B squared. And then I said 16, well that's 4 squared, so it's a squared plus 4 squared equals b squared. And this is just the kind of pattern you have to see after doing these problems for a long time. This is the same as the Pythagorean triple 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So a squared plus 4 squared equals b squared, and 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared are very similar. And that's just something you have to notice after doing this for a long time. And from that, you, uh, if you match up these equations up, you get a equals 3 and b equals 5 as your solution. But that's wrong, because if you check it against this equation, you get a, b equals 15 with this solution, but with this equation, you get a, b equals negative 15. So that means a has to be negative, or b has to be negative. If b is negative, then you get a equals 3 and b equals negative 5. If you plug those back in, into each equation, you see that that's true, and it works. And then you get a plus b is, oh, in the original equation, we wanted to find a plus b whole squared. So we need to substitute that back in. So a plus b is negative 2, squared is 4. And then if you make a negative, you get a equals negative 3 and b equals 5. So a plus b equals 2. And then you, 2 squared equals 4. So either way, our solution is 4. Okay. So... This, this solution is very short, but it depends on you figuring this out. It depends on you noticing that this equation is similar to a Pythagorean triple. But that won't necessarily always be true when you're taking the square root of complex numbers. So there is another way to solve these kinds of problems. But it's more complicated. So if you want the simple solution, this is your simple solution. But for the complicated solution, that is more general, um, you say 2ab equals negative 30, and then you solve for a. So a equals negative 15 over b. And then the second, the first equation was a squared minus b squared equals negative 16. You can substitute back in, that back in, and you get negative 15 over b squared equals negative b squared equals negative 16. You square negative 15 over b to get 225 over b squared. We want to get rid of this denominator, so multiply everything by b squared, which is 225 minus b to the 4th equals negative 16b squared. And whenever you have an equation that is b to the 4th and b squared, um, that is a quadratic in terms of b squared, so we can solve for b squared. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add by b to the 4th and subtract by 225 to get 0 equals b to the 4th minus 16b squared minus 225. Now, we need to factor this. We know that 225 is 15 squared. So if we guess and check factors, we can get positive 1, negative 225, positive 5, negative 45, um, 
positive 3, negative 75, positive 9, negative 25. That works. So we get b squared plus 9 and b squared minus 25. So that probably, that that is definitely, I think, the longest step because you have to guess and check. And then you get b squared equals 25 or b squared equals negative 9. But b is a real number, so b squared equals negative 9, that's wrong. So you get b squared equals 25, and then b equals plus or minus 5. And this gives us two solutions. If b equals 5, then a equals negative 3. a plus b is 2, and then 2 squared is 4. If b equals negative 5, then a is 3. a plus b is negative 2, and 2 squared is 4. So you get the same solution. But I think that this solution is a lot longer. But at the same time, it's more general. Because sometimes, if we go back up here, it happened that this was a Pythagorean triple, but it, if this had been a different complex number th inside this radical, then maybe it wouldn't have been an easy Pythagorean triple. So that's not always going to happen. So it's important that you also know the general solution of how to create this quadratic and substitute everything back in. So there's this general solution, and then there's this easy solution. So it's up to you to decide which one you should use, depending on the situation of what's under this radical. So yeah, I thought that was an interesting problem, just because there's two different solutions, each with their own advantages. So I hope you like this problem, and have fun doing math.